Hey everybody, I'm Bay Jermaine, aka the Terrible Australian of Supermarcy.com, and welcome to my video review of the new comedy Daddy's Home, starring Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. Uh, so let's get right into it. Now, as you all know, as you, most of you already know anyway, this is actually the second team up of Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg. Uh, they previously worked together in another comedy, uh, The Other Guys, which was co written and directed by Adam McKay. And I actually really enjoyed The Other Guys, I thought that was a really sort of fun, uh, sort of a buddy cop comedy, and both Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg actually made a really cool on-screen team for that one. So they decided to, a couple of years later down the track, sort of reunite for Daddy's Home, which um, which Adam McKay is a producer on. And this one sort of... And unfortunately, though, this film didn't really quite capture the magic that uh, they brought to the other guys. Um, this one does have a really cool premise of basically... Mark Wahlberg sort of comes to visit he, the his ex-wife and their children, and his ex-wife's now married to Will Ferrell. So there's sort of an interesting sort of sort of dynamic because Will Ferrell sort of again as he usually does play sort of the uptight sort of very sort of somewhat uh, conservative sort of uh, character, while Mark Wahlberg's sort of the more laid back, fun kind of cool kind of character, and. And it was sort of like how these two characters sort of interact with each other, because at first, you know, they have to be trying to be very civil with each other, but over the course of the film and whatnot, they sort of have to compete for the their uh, the family's affection. And unfortunately, though, even though it does have its funny moments here and there and whatnot, and Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg are very game in this film, but unfortunately, it just... It, it just felt very flat as a comedy, and even though, yeah, it does have its moments here and there, but unfortunately it just doesn't quite work, and it doesn't really sort of dive into the premise as much as it could have. And also, um, in Australia, the film actually was given a PG rating, and after sort of watching the film, I'm honestly kind of not even sure why it even got that, because there's a lot of sort of adult-related humour in there, and... Like, for the screening I went to, um, there were actually were a lot of kids in the cinema, and even though a lot of the sort of the, sort of, sort of adult humour of the sort of, uh, of the film kind of, I assume would have went, flown right over their heads, but it was kind of really weird and kind of a bit uncomfortable kind of seeing this type of humour in a film that, even though we, I don't think this film was actually ever intended for kids, but the fact that here is when when a film gets a PG rating, usually that sort of means that families and all that can go see it. But unfortunately, sort of the humour here was, I think, a bit too racy for a PG rating. Like, if this was an M rated here in Australia, or PG-13 in the US, um, it would make sense in that regard. But, yeah, it, it just does... A lot of that sort of more kind of racy adult humour just doesn't work in this film and it just made it sort of seem and plus it doesn't help that it's really obvious and kind of just doesn't work and it just doesn't fit the tone of what the film's going for. Maybe it might have been better if the film probably was more aimed at adult audiences rather than sort of families, I suppose. So not to say that I'm approved when it comes to stuff like that. It just just didn't it just felt like when I was watching uh Grown Up Two I'm sorry, Grown Ups 2 a couple years back, it kind of did a very similar thing. Like, it's a film that's pitched to families, but some of the humour and all that is just too adult to for it to be aimed at or family audiences and whatnot. And, yeah, and it kind of is the same thing here, but not as bad as it was in Grown Ups 2, but it just it just felt kind of awkward in this one. And, um, and also, kind of, Will Ferrell kind of does his usual stick and whatnot, so he doesn't really bring anything kind of new to the table, and you can tell that he's truly trying really hard for uh, a lot of laughs in this film, but unfortunately it just comes off feeling very forced, and, and but at least with Mark Wahlberg, you can tell that, like, Mark Wahlberg definitely does have sort of the more funnier moments in the film, since he's kind of, is kind of playing the straight character in this, in this type of comedy, but, uh, but yeah, and also... Like, he gets sort of funny moments and all that. Like like I said, there are some moments here and there, but most of the time, a lot of the jokes kind of fall flat, and uh, the script isn't really that funny, or the plot is... The plot's not that great, and a lot of the sort of supporting cast um, aren't really given much to do. Although, um, I think... Let me just find out 
one of the cast members in particular. Uh, Hannibal Burris, though, is, out of all the supporting cast, he's definitely is the one who kind of stood out the most for me because other, he actually provided a lot of the film's funnier moments. And his character could have been kind of useless, but he's sort of given a lot to do in this he makes the most of his role in the film and he actually, I found his character rather funny and also kind of in a way kind of an audience surrogate kind of character in a way. And um, and also his interactions with the families were pretty funny. So um, overall, Daddy's Home, pretty, pretty very mediocre kind of comedy and definitely not up to the standards that uh, Will Ferrell and Mark Wahlberg have done in the past in terms of that like the comedies that they've worked on or even just being in the other guys as well. So um, if I had to give this film a rating, I'd give it about two stars. It's it's watchable, it has its moments, but um, it's just entirely just a really forgettable comedy. So yeah, that's the end of my video review of Daddy's Home. I hope you guys all enjoyed it, and I'll see you all later. See you everyone. Bye.